If we open the Spybot S&D Center, the first thing we get to is, do you need any help? Spybot can show you informational and confirming dialogues, which offer details and background. Do you want Spybot to show these dialogues? If you're not a frequent Spybot user, you're a new user to it, make sure that you click yes on this because it will help you show around. First thing it'll ask on startup is, do you want to whitelist files to speed up scanning? Now, this should only be done on a fresh and clean system, so i.e. not one that you've been using for ages. And essentially what it means is, as you know, it's a fresh install of Windows. They can whitelist all the files currently on the system to speed up scanning. So do you want to speed up your system scan by allowing all currently existing files? It's really important that if it's not a new system that you click cancel, okay, that you don't create a trust list should only be done with a new window set up and you've not yet connected to the internet. This is the only way you can be certain you have no malware. There is um, a hint down there to explain in a bit more detail about the dialogue, but we're gonna create a trust list because we are on a fresh system. So if we click on create trust list and create trust list, drive C is our drive. So the local hard disk is sufficient. And if we press OK, what it will do is it will go through all the files currently on the system and it will add them to what it calls a trust list. This speeds up the scan by being able to say these files that are on here are absolutely trusted. None of them are malware. Everything here is as intended. You do get a little update bar at the bottom which shows you how many files it's processed and how many it has remaining. The remaining is increasing all the time, as you can see, as it discovers new files. But this is really useful for when you have a new system installed because it will rapidly speed up your scans. If you have been using your system already, don't worry about not creating the trust list. It just means that your scans may take a little bit longer, but it is far better to be safe than sorry if you have connected your computer to the internet already which you will have done even if it's just to download Spybot, it is much safer and much better to take the time hit on every scan but ensure that the whole system is clean, clean rather than creating a trust list which is actually whitelisting files some of which could be potentially dangerous because if you do that Spybot will never pick up on it which is very dangerous. Even though if you don't create a trust list, it says we recommend to create one to speed up all scans. Remember, that is only something you should do on an absolutely new clean install of Windows. Don't be tempted to do it just because it's saying it will speed up scans. It's better to have no trust list at all than it is to have a trust list that potentially contains compromised files. Depending on how much you have installed as your base system install, this could take a while. It could take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes up to a couple of hours. So it is worth leaving it running and letting it finish. You can go off, you can do something else. You can minimize it in the background and still use the computer. That's absolutely fine. It won't affect the trust list will keep on preparing in the background. Once the trust list process has been started, you aren't able to stop it. If you click close, it will say that the trust list is being prepared and that you cannot stop it once it's started. So do make sure that you leave plenty of time where the computer will remain switched on. As, as you can see, we're up to 146,000 and rising files and we've processed 7,000-ish after approximately three to four minutes. So this process could take a while depending on the speed of your computer and how much you do have installed as part of your default installation. The progress bar will keep moving to tell you that it is still progressing through the files. As you can see, it's still listing various files in Windows apps that it's finding. That's why the file list number is still increasing at the moment. The number in the brackets is the total number of files to be processed and the amount that has currently been worked through is the first number that you see in the status bar at the bottom. Remember that the trust list should be limited to only 
your local disk. If you do have two local disks, you can do it, but your main local disk, which is usually C, that contains your operating system, is the only one really that you are that you should create a trust list for on a clean system. Certainly do not include any network locations. Again, these have already been connected to the network and the internet. You can't guarantee they are clean anyway. Once all the files have been listed, you will notice that the processing speed picks up. So the numbers of files going faster. So even though it might seem like it's going to take forever at the beginning, the process does speed up after it has finished finding all the files. Whilst it's finding files, it's busy not only trying to process them, but also find more files. Therefore, it is a lot slower in the beginning. But as you can see now, the speed is starting to pick up somewhat. Now the trust list has finally been created. Once that happens, you will get a message up saying that system scans should now operate faster because all current files have been flagged as good. The uh, list has just gone undergone testing successfully. And it's created it for 238,717 files in five hours, 25 minutes and one second. So after that has happened, you can press the okay button you will get a message now, the trust list has gone green, your trust list was created and will successfully speed up the scan of 238,717 files in the future because they have been now marked as safe. Hope that helps, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you for the next video.